I first met Mark when I arrived at Truro School and I was walking around the first team pitch and I just saw somebody filming up on one of our terraces at a rugby fixture. Immediately I was intrigued to what was happening and to why Truro School was investing so much into filming this particular game. They were using video analysis as part of their uh, process of improving players' performance and as I just arrived as head of football, I thought I needed some of this as well. In discussion with Mark, I also realised that he'd done some work for a whole city. I knew immediately I was getting someone professional. The funny thing is, in life, Everybody's mentioned it so far, it's all about commitment. At the end of my first term at Truro School, we had Ian Holloway as our guest speaker. By the end of the evening, after Ian had watched a football montage, he walks away knowing that we were trying to be as professional as we possibly could, and having Mark on board certainly was pushing our standards up. In 2007, I was the assistant manager of Truro City. Truro had big dreams and I felt to actually be able to go and realise those dreams, we needed to improve what we were doing off the field. I asked Mark to come along and film the Newcastle Benfield game, which is the fourth round of the FA Bars, a competition that no corner side had ever won. We got to the semi-final, and Mark travelled with us to Manchester to play Curzon Ashley in the first leg. Whilst we lost the first leg, we had some fantastic video footage of the game. Over the next seven days, we analysed it and we prepared fully for the return. We won it 1 3 1, and then we went on to win at Wembley 3 1 also. Part of that was having Mark alongside us throughout that weekend at Wembley. He got alongside the players, the management, and was in the gallery videoing the whole game. Then he produced a double DVD that all the players we're able to keep us a memento. In this new Wembley. Don't get any better than this, sunshine. Mark continued his journey with Truro City up through the leagues, up to conference. I saw Mark take his film into another level. He brought in summarisers, commentators, and it then went viral. Challenge, and now we've got uh, all the players wanting to get involved. I'm going to stick my neck out, and he's going. With a big number five, who. Oh, another red card! Number five, Charlie O'Loughlin is also off. Well, well, I, I didn't see that coming. I was about to say, um, if you if you're that if you if you're that size, if you're that size, you can't really go in and hide a little bit, can you? The sporting arena at Truro School is an important one and we wanted to enhance that experience. We've run tours over the last few years to South Africa and in particular Durban and Cape Town. One way I found we could improve things was to actually film it, professionally film it. I recommended to our director of sport that found Mark and Pyramid Films to travel with us. Part of that tour was filming not only the matches, but filming the boys outside their comfort zone, in different cultures around other social environments and then on our return to England producing a video for not only the boys to watch in our borough theatre but also the parents to come and join us. That is the uh, other choice bucket with a cake. That's in! That is in from where we were sitting. It was always going to be a goal. That's open, it's on the clock. Button gives Paul the lead. Two years ago Cornwall under 18s nearly didn't exist due to the pressures of the financial constraints upon RFA. I was asked to take on that manager's job, which I duly accepted, but I also knew we had to raise the profile. So who did I turn to? I turned to Perrin Films. With Mark's expertise and his summarisers and commentators, I wanted to get the message not only out in Cornwall, but on a national stage that Cornwall is taking their football seriously. I never had any doubts, did I? What doubts did I have? I know that boy's come from, he comes from good stock, 
This ended this season with us reaching the national final, a first. A first in 72 years. Again, Mark came on the journey with us. He travelled with us on the day before, filmed everything that happened at Bisham Abbey and then went on to match day at Barnet FC. He also produced for me an inspirational video for the players to watch on the way into the game. I think what Mark and Piran Films managed to produce was so unique that other counties in this country will soon follow what Mark has produced this time around. It's very difficult to put into words the value of what Mark has done to not only Cornwall sport and in particular the football and also to Truro school sport. The best way I can describe it is the ultimate professional. The quality of his productions is outstanding. He understands what we're trying to achieve. He's willing to listen, but is also brilliant at the advice that he gives us. I've always found Mark and Piran Films easy to contact. And when sometimes we're up against deadlines, that's an important part. He also turns what he films around in such a short space of time, it is brilliant for managers and coaches to get to work as quickly as we possibly can. I honestly believe Piran Films is a unique product in Cornwall.